In this video I'll explain how to split the elements of a character vector using the str split function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the character string that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new character string object is appearing which is called myString. And we can print this string to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a character string containing different letters and in between you can also see some blank values. Now let's assume that we want to split our character string at each position where a blank is contained in the string. Then we can apply the str split function as you can see in line 5 of the code. And within the str split function we need to specify the name of our character string. So in this case our character string is called my string. And then we need to specify the split argument and in this case we want to split our character string at each position where a blank value occurs. So if you run line 5 of the code you can see at the bottom that a new output is returned and as you can see this time we have created a list object and this list object contains a vector of character strings and each element of this vector corresponds to one chunk of our input string. So as you can see in our input string the first blank was occurring after the first three characters AAA and for that reason our character string was split at this position. So in the next example of this tutorial I want to show you how to use a different split argument. So in this case I'm using the character string xx to split our input string based on this splitting criteria. So if you run line 7 of the code you can see that another output is returned and this time we have not split our string at the positions where you have a blank in the character string but we have split at each position where our character string contained the values xx. So for instance in front of the letter E the characters xx occurred after the letter E and so on. So as you have seen in this second example it's possible to specify different splitting criteria to split a character string. So in the first two examples you have seen that the output of the str split function is a list object that contains one element with our character string vector. However it's also possible to convert this list output into a vector object and we can do that using the unlist function in combination with the str split function as you can see in line 9 of the code. So within the unlist function I'm using exactly the same code as in line 7. However then I'm wrapping the unlist function around this output. So if you run line 9 of the code you can see that another output is created and this output contains exactly the same vector as in the previous example. However, this time this is a vector object and not a vector within a list. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.